How's, How's it going, going everybody? everybody? Welcome. Welcome to the another Losers Bracket match here in the Earthbound Super Series Ancient Cave Tournament. It is going to be a, an excellent one. We have Seeds 1 and Seeds 2 up against each other. Joining me on commentary is, uh, is Leslie Pro 04. And uh, Leslie, I got I to gotta, I gotta get your prediction right out the gate. It's really hard to gauge a prediction here because we've got a one seed versus a two seed. But if you thought it was going to be in the finals, well, uh, think again. Because both these runners got bopped, which is why they lined up in the position they are in. Hmm. Yeah, this is this, this is really a coin flip. Yeah, it's losers semifinals. They still, even if they win this, they have Thomas waiting for them in losers finals. And then Andy waiting in grand finals. And it looks like we've started already. I can't honestly give a prediction. I mean, it's randomizer. So that automatically makes it difficult. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And we've got the skip sandwich picnic lunch monkey right away. Yeah, you see both of them talking to the monkey, trying to get that information early, trying to see if they can find a skip sandwich, probably. Uh, going to be taking an early... Uh, just to get an early presence. Floor one doesn't have the greatest presence, but you can't you can't uh, completely ignore them. Oh, another another skip found by Ori. That one would need the king banana. So some some potential here in floor one, but they got to find the right items. I see the most interesting thing to Chaz is the King Banana. Temple here getting into a lot more fights than, than Ori. Uh, that means Temple's going to be a little bit better in XP, but these early fights can be, you know, made up real quick. So Ori definitely got a small lead here. Found a free heal. Yeah, he's going to skip the free heal, but finding that room means that um, if they do find Brick Red later, um, or at least if Ori finds Brick Red later, uh, it's not going to have any enemies inside. It won't have any of the scripted enemies inside of it, rather. Unless that's been fixed, but that's how it used to work. Ori finding the Hell Room. A lot of Starman base here in the early section. Here we see a protein drink found by Temple. No skip and no uh, King Banana here. Still works that way. Excellent. Thank you, Chaz. Ori finding a uh, six pack of select. This is Ori's first battle, which. Oh, Lord. <laughs> At this point, I'd be casting. Yep, that was the right move to cast here. Definitely a situation to cast Thunder Beta because you're definitely going to hit two of them and take two of them off the field with Freeze Alpha eliminating another. Absolutely. Um, this is going to give Ori some good experience, so right, right away, uh, they're probably going to be matched in experience. Temple finding this room, so if they do find Brick Road, both of them will have even playing field. See, Ori really wants this fight, uh, at this point, um, not just for the experience, but he's spent so much time, like the experience needs to be the reward. Uh, but some, some people get in hit, and a lot of psychic points used. And a fresh egg. If you can find the fresh egg monkey real quick, that's a that's a a real useful skip to find. But at, at the at the very least, that'll turn into a chicken. Real temple finding the same six slug fight. Still no fire for both of them. Yeah. And, and like you said, casting the thunder here on, on, on the slugs is super good. Anytime there's any there's four or more enemies on the screen, casting thunder is always a super strong move. Um, I like to gamble even when there's two, just because it's a 50% chance at that point. Um, there's three and thunder connects on alpha. Here, both of them super low on psychic points. Probably part of the reason Ori's opting to skip some of these fights. That butterfly, he wants it for sure. Yep. And the fresh egg drop seems to be very common from these guys. Both of them have a fresh egg, so potentially two humane runs here. Yeah, the timing of that butterfly was definitely blessed. Pardon Absolutely. the reference to blessed butterflies <laughs> and Skyward Sword. It's just 
when you use all that psychic points, you need all the help you can get, and getting more definitely helps. And now we've got some punks. Yeah, we got some punks, and Tuff will actually use a fresh drag. He doesn't have enough psychic points, so he feels comfortable using it uh, to heal, so he actually used it as a heal. So Temple going to lose out on that potential 100 bucks uh, if they choose to sell it or if they choose to just set it free. Or he feels more like the type of person who set it free. Early, early twos and fine is not what you want to see. See, or he dips out immediately. Oh, and it all leads to twos. <laughs> well, your options are twos or twos. You might as well start looking around. And uh-oh, we got a wild goat sighting. Yeah, goat. Just came out from behind the building, was uh, waiting there stealthily, taking its time. And uh, thankfully, Freeze Alpha is very good at taking it. Goats are only really scary when you're solo Jeff in the actual game. Um, but it's showing up out of nowhere. The reason that Tucson's so unfortunate to find early. Oh, the fresh egg. And Ori has the fresh egg still. Oh, this is humongous. Wow. wow. Those I'll are the credit for this baby. Of race, but <laughs> Here's the thing. The and vendor that too. sells the fresh egg still it is vanilla in two cents. So Temple can still get an egg. It's just going to cost him 12 big ones. Absolutely. Um, he's, he's still got the money. I, I don't recall him using all of his money when he did that, sh that short shopping, shopping segment. But Ori found a skip here. He found a def defense shower. That tells you a little bit about the floor. We need to see some enemies to know for sure. Uh, but Ori right now is in uh, unknown territory. See, Temple also not happy to find Tucson, but it's going to be what he needs to find, and hopefully he finds that same door that Ori does. Because uh, this, the, this, the double skip there, because the ruler is the other uh, door there, and you see Ori going back to four one. Maybe he might be trying to find a heal or something like that. I'm actually not sure. Yeah, that or he's he's maybe wanting the phone. Yeah. Yeah, phone play makes sense here. He definitely, I feel like it's it's because it's the sewers. Um, he's not going to be able to reasonably skip the enemies in sewers. So if he's going to if he's going to navigate through sewers or if he's going to navigate an area where there's very clearly some very strong enemies, you can see there there's one of the robots in the Monotoli building. Yeah, diamonds and UFOs. I mean, that could be only a, a skip to uh, floor two. That could just be um, Peaceful Rest Valley stuff. But it could also be South Scarab. So there's like a big discrepancy. It could be it could be a couple different different people. And Paul getting hit by the bottle rocket. This BBR better kill. Oh Paul is gonna be not getting that experience, but he still gets the kill, which gives him a huge chunk of experience. Yeah, that huge chunk of experience is gonna make uh, is going to be well, pardon the pun, it's gonna be huge. Because those scripted fights, especially early, can really set the pace. Yeah, and I, I mean, already the the skip Ori found was is is proving to be giving him a huge lead. Temple is either going to have to find the exit to floor one fairly quickly, or and then find a different skip, or find the same skip and then try and just make up time. But we still don't have information on what floor we're on. We haven't actually seen even him get into a fight with anything. Uh, we've just seen the overworld sprites. And there's a lot of a lot of caves in the meantime. Still no enemies, which is which is good and bad. Oh, here we go. We found a skip for Temple, the tiny ruby oh. skip here. So this could be this could be something wherever Ori is. Temple might be farther ahead. Goddess Band, that's really good. Or he kind, of oh, yeah. kind of eliminates the earlier floors right there. Big League Bat on Temple's side. Yeah, the question mark enemy right there, you, you know that's got to be uh, sort of Magic Camp based. Yeah, that's time. I, I'm going to say that's floor six because that's like the only place I've seen that. I could be wrong. I, I feel like it, it, floor six seems like a pretty solid guess. Here we see this. Nothing real good there except the T-Rex bat, maybe, but nothing to be really be used as a skip. And plus, he only has a hundred bucks, so he can't really go there. I feel like, let's see, it's a temple here in Threed. It's like an armored frog running at him. Yeah, those are deep darkness enemies, so 4-6 looking stronger and stronger as a guess here. 
Oh, we got a star man. Side. That's a star man that could be four seven. <laughs> oh, it could be worse. It could, I mean, I I don't. It could be four eight because he he is going the way where he he did the fresh egg skip first and then did the ruler skip. So this actually could be four eight. Yeah, um, and a large pizza pickup. Who having spy is gonna be an interesting wrinkle when we get to the end game because if. Ori has to go, if, or rather, if Ori goes the route of brain shock strats, that's a turn where a prayer isn't going to happen. Yeah, flame pendant on temple side. That tells you probably 4 4, 4 5, maybe. Well, there's the other side of the pencil eraser, Skip. Yeah, absolutely. So Ori looking like he's really, really far in the lead here still. Uh, but it, it, I don't even. We still don't have any definitive information. But the flame pendant is telling. It, it, you know, you wouldn't find a flame pendant on like four seven. Well, I guess you could theoretically, but it would be unlikely. Just because it's it's not quite strong enough to be even be that relevant. Oh, Chaz technically has the info. He could he could give us the scoop instead of having us uh, guess. Well, maybe it's more fun for us to guess tonight. I don't know. Yeah, I, I will opt to hold out just until because I feel like we're going to find out soon. It really is looking more and more like 4 8 for Ori. Um, and he's unfortunately, he's in Great Fruit, Fruit Falls, so he's pincered, uh, which is the special. Those look like those are for sure fobbies. Yeah, those are definitely fobbies, and you don't want to fight those because if they roll high, but oh, we got a protein drink. Is this a good skip or a bad skip? And Temple's got the uh, other one being a pizza. It doesn't have. He doesn't have the pizza. Mole cave, That's... not super hot to find. Red swirl from Ori. This actually could spell disaster for him. That's a mook. So somebody's dead. Oh, the oh. teddy bear coming in clutch. He picked up that teddy bear and ran a room. Uh, so the teddy bear really uh, coming really useful there for for him. Temple. I feel like it's a forward skip. We saw flame there. Uh, flame could mean Moonside, or it could mean Fire Springs. We didn't see the actual enemy. Or he's got a Moonbeam gun. That is literally Jeff's second-to-best weapon right there, so that is big offense. And here we're going to find out. Or he found the boss, but Paula is dead, so this is actually could be very scary. So Ori on 4-8 for sure. It's eight, and what's the boss? It it's is... It's the doggo seed. It's like one of the oh first ones of the, of the bracket this stage. Is... This is like, like he's hovering over Runaway, like, what do I do? I don't blame him whatsoever, because this is the one enemy, oh, the one I think, boss. I think it's Vanilla Prey location, In one of too. these seeds, because Carbon Dog and Diamond Dog is a very difficult fight. Yeah, and he doesn't have Paula alive. I think Paula has to pray. No, um, Pooh does. No, Pooh has spy. Unless, unless I really, really did not look at that. But I'm pretty sure Pooh has spy. Uh, Jeff has mirror, and I think Paula has vanilla prey. Um, but so he can't even really pray there. I could have been wrong though. I feel like he would have gone for for prey if if it if it was the case, but. He did save. He knows where to go to get back there, and he can grind uh, for a bit. He sees another skip. He might look around in some other floor, see if he can find a full heal, something to get his party back up and running, and then he can try and start green and Starman. At least this is what I would think he, he might try and do um, to try and get some experience. But this does give Temple, you know, some time to potentially, you know, make it. Finding a dog on floor eight. Definitely Ori, like, in the past, I've raced, I've raced against Ori. Ori has found an early dog and said, I'm, I've, I, in previous races, he's gone. I'm going to try and see if I can skip past floor eight because I don't want to fight that dog. Can't um, say I blame him, although in a bit of a bad luck, the put, ended pudding shop rolled onto floor one in Tucson at the entrance to Tucson from Onet, so... Bit of a bad break there because I don't see any way how Ori gets the money for that. Well, he did kill a star man. He did kill a couple enemies, so he could potentially uh, get it going. He did find Doctor Saturn, by the way, which is a very strong thing to find. He could t definitely use that to grind quite a bit. Yeah, um, that's definitely a good heal to find for sure. 
And he's going to want to get some levels on Paula here. Almost for sure. You see him going to 4 8. Meanwhile, Temple, we still don't have any super reliable information about uh, what floor he's on. We could theorize well, he could he could try and beat up the floor seven boss, see if he can get some experience there. Question is, what's the floor seven boss? It's yeah, Starman <laughs> Deluxe. It's not. Oh it's not looking God, that's that's, uh, that's that's arguably uh, worse because Starman Deluxe can a, cast he's Star He's taking a big Storm, chance. Casting. And if you don't have Psychic Shield Sigma, you cannot block it. And the Vanilla Psychic Power Shield has roll. Yeah, I mean, the only, yeah, Paul had prey. And he, he just. Uh, he just beefed it up. The only real, real way to get rid of the Psychic Shield is to cast Thunder. Yeah, the Thunder will reflect, but Thunder automatically kills the Psychic Shield after the reflect. So that'll be the only chance there. Star Storm here on Jeff. So that's going to yep. be a no-go on there. Starman Deluxe in the back, Doggo in the front. It's really not looking good for, for ways to potentially skip to 4-9. Yeah, I think the skip temple took's looking like the better of the skips, to be honest. Especially if it can get him to floor nine. If he can find a skip on this floor to floor nine, or a skip on the next floor to floor nine, for sure this will end up being in Temple's favor. Let's see, finding some some mammoth burgers, stuff like that. Ori is Ori isn't quite a pick. Ori either needs to grind and just uh, take his chances against the dog, or go on a different on the different floor and try and find a different skip. Oh, he's finding Honestly, these UFOs. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, I'd try and build up money finding explosives vendor. That's what there maybe is. Might be a good one, especially the explosive vendors could give him the option to go backwards. Explosives definitely very uh, useful against Starman Deluxe. You get a couple of levels on you, so you can tank a lot of the hits. The ludicrous tech speed can carry you through. That might be a pretty good idea. Paula keeps dying, though. He definitely needs experience on Paula. <laughs> well, honestly, I honestly am starting to think that the experience factor tells me. It's a case of the game knows. I will yeah, leave it at that. Maybe. I mean, for running Earthbound for a long time, definitely feel this game is sentient. Definitely knows uh, knows when to be a big old meanie. I'm going to skip the Fobbies. Definitely not worried about experience then. Because that'd be a good chance to get some. Maybe trying to pick up some items here. Lucky sandwich, no go. You know, Temple's trying to get into Mole Cave and, and definitely can't get any traction. Ori found Baddest Beam, which is a great weapon to find, just not when you already have Moonbeam Gun or Gaia Beam. Because yeah, I mean, that's weapon number three. Yeah, I mean, right at this point, the guy beam is the only thing for Jeff in terms of a like an auto attack weapon that can uh, improve Ori's situation there. So you see a scalp being there on Temple screen. He's in the winter, just trying to make some progress forward. Loaded dice, not a fun thing to fight. Oh, absolutely not. Loaded dice is an enemy that you need to take out fast because every turn, it calls for help. Yeah. So battle situation can get out of hand very quickly as we see a Bobby and an uncontrollable sphere. Temple did find a boss there, but he's opting to not go for it. I'm curious what he's looking for. Uh -oh, that was, that's a fire beta. That was definitely the end of, of Pink Cloud there. Yeah, Ori looking like he's in a rough position, trying to run away, hoping that this battle's gone on long enough that the extra 10% is added up and he can escape. And he does with one HP. He can only do a life up alpha. 
So that gives them 94 HP to work with. Charm coin, definitely not worth the uh, the trouble there. Worth selling, if anything else. For sure, the money will be very useful. I think I think it might come down to, you know, or he might be trying to find an explosive vendor as well. And the shiny coin, this charm coin he found, all that stuff can definitely add up to, to buying explosives in bulk. Temple gets a butterfly. Always nice. Yeah, based on where Temple is and the enemies he's fighting, this looks like floor four. Um, yeah, as he's basically fighting a taxi that went off-roading in winters. Yeah. Wait a minute, maybe saw, that's the crazy taxi from the aforementioned arcade game. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was black too. Like the model. Look at that Model T. Reminds me, I saw a very old car on my way home from work today, and it just popped into mind because it was... You don't often see antique cars out on the roads nowadays, or in general. They are so good to look at, and you get a real look into history when you see them. Yeah, growing up, my dad actually had... I forget what model car it was. It was extremely old. Um... And it was it was a super nice car. He even ended, ended up having to sell it um, during some rougher economic times, but it still was a beautiful car. Temple finding a hospital definitely useful. He had a, a dead party member, and he finds a skip there. I don't know if he, but the thing about that skip is he can't. That's a that's a one way skip. So <laughs> and it would have gone backwards. Because we've that, already seen that, I think. I, I don't remember, but honestly, it's been hard to juggle between these two. These two have taken drastically different routes through this ancient cave seed. So Ori found a Rust Promoter Deluxe. Now, one thing I'm curious about, because I don't always get to use those items, how much damage do the rush promoters do? I can find out for you right now. Because honestly, sometimes I get in situations where I wonder if firing off a rust promoter or rust promoter deluxe is worth it. Because I know there are certain enemies where it certainly is worth it. As Ori has popped out of the door where you enter your name. <laughs> just says doggo why <laughs> well we're all thinking that yeah I mean it's an unfortunate time to get a doggo seed uh, like I said in, in the uh, bracket stages it's been largely uh, unseen but I cannot find any technical where's the technical information Maybe Chaz has that information. Uh, there's that a there's a technical information section that should have it. Um, well, how about it? this? Ori has found Milky Well. That is a full party free heal. Everybody up. Okay. Full HP. So, full PP. So Ori's they, party is back in the game. Uh, so it has a luck. Divided by 80 chance of failing, and always fails if the target isn't an enemy or isn't metallic. They deal 200 plus or minus 50% and 400 plus or minus 50% damage, respectively. I believe that refers to whether or not they're metallic. So if they're metallic, it does more damage. Uh, if they're metallic, it, it does apparently 400 plus or minus 50%, so with a max of 600 damage, minimum of 200 against non-metallic enemies. Uh, and I just got info on where Temple's at. He's fighting Shroom at the end of Floor 5. Floor 5, huh? Okay, so that's not too bad, actually, because Floor 6 could have a skip to 9, or Floor 7 could have a skip to 9. Um, this is definitely still, like, the, even though Ori's on Floor 8, he is kind of just... He's definitely trying to find items that are useful. Uh, <laughs> Maybe useful for skips, even something like that. Uh, but Ori is definitely sort of scrambling here. He might want that item here. He's on the first first room of Cave of the Past, so there's actually no other door at the end of this. But there is an item box not far from where he is. 
And here he goes. He, he definitely... So the reason he's fighting this is because both these enemies are super susceptible to paralysis, unless they got randomized to not be. Um, but he wants the experience for Paula so bad. Yeah, and since the enemy's paralyzed, it's just a free round of teeing off. Yeah, and here Temple's still fighting Shroom. Shroom can be kind of... It's not as straightforward as some of the other bosses. Definitely, we're here in, in the prey section of the of the fight. Um, not no more psychic points to really do anything but pray. Uh, still attacking with Ness. That's super super dangerous, especially Actually, now considering the he's... situation's gotten very dangerous because we have three kids that are mastermized. That's a confusion stat that as a kid has hecked me over more times than I care to remember. Yeah, it, it's it's it can be a run killer in glitchless it can it could be you know the confusion aspect can definitely be, be a problem here as well he's basically this prey here is mostly I, I would imagine looking the dazzling lights would be nice but he's been life up alfling he's, he's scripted shroom is scripted um so shroom is is always going to start by uh mastermizing somebody and then he's going to heal himself and then he's going to Mastermize again, but the mastermize it, it'll be a poison mastermize. It says yeah, he, he drops some sword, right. and then he'll attack. Um, so it's it's one of the things that like the life ups are gonna get out of control. So the only other thing you could potentially want from this prey would be a confusion situation, where he might uh, poison himself, or yeah, he's just he's just resetting. He wants an, he wants I... another go that's that's a lot cleaner. Yeah, I don't blame him. That's a fight where you sort of want a little more experience. Meanwhile, we've got a situation where we've got a spook of some kind that Ori's fighting. I'm not sure which one, but well, that's those four, enemies... That, that's floor eight, so that's a Starman base uh, mook right there. Yes, that'd be mook senior. That's correct. I dare say Temple's trying a floor eight enemy? Question mark. Yeah, he might. He might be back in the in the uh, mole cave. I don't think mole cave is part of floor eight though. Uh, that's fire spring enemy. So that could be as early as floor six if you're if if you're like near the end of floor six, but probably floor seven. This is something that that Temple has been trying to to sort of push for is is jet getting into Mole Cave even just a little bit um, to explore for items stuff like that and get some experience. He can kill this guy. Oh, that's a good story. Oh, he got good. He got a good enemy RNG rule where it edge closer didn't freeze it, didn't take it out. So, uh oh. So nest down, nest, nest down. Yeah, so definitely that Freeze Alpha was going to kill. Unfortunate that Ness died, but he can double back, try and find some healing, um, and uh, try kind of just keep doing that over and over again. Because now that he's got the initial levels, that, that fight just becomes easier and easier. Or here, looking at the dog. Going this, to kind of, try this, and enter. Not, Unfortunately, yeah. not a the door. flag for that door was taken out when making this randomizer. So, sorry. Belchman is not saying say the password. Ori hoping that this is a huge oversight. <laughs> Trying to break or break into Belch's face. No, no such luck. Uh, and here we go. So... Trying to freeze out this first phase. Um, unfortunate first turn from Dog, immediately obliterating Paula. He's going to have to to heal her as quickly as possible and probably uh, very quick menuing. So that's that's working out great for him. Pooth now going down. And unfortunately, Ness with the slowest speed, Paula is now dead. Temple uh, blitzing through Mole Cave, getting Green Swirl and Green Swirl. 
not looking good for this dog attempt here from Ori. Maybe trying to scope out some information about the, the health situation on Carbon Dog here. But uh, that's that's a death right there. So that's going to be failed attempt two on Dog. Now you can tell Ori's a little frustrated because Dog is, is real... An unfortunate Temples find. Temples found an earth pendant. Absolutely. I was going to mention that. So nice. Mole Cave being a major boon here. Temple going to fight the star man. He wants the experience. I think it's a good decision. Especially if he gets a solidify here. He did. You can count those. But you could definitely tell Temple's going up here for probably two reasons. One, he wants the item box. But two, definitely want to fight these moles because you want that experience. Worth asking here. C oh, pendant. there's a C pendant. Oh, Ooh, baby. That, oh, my goodness. That's a huge find. And if this is... So you said this might be 4-8. And honestly, seeing some of the enemies, I guess it could be. I still think it could be 4-7. But... C pendant on dog is a huge advantage to have that Ori does not have. Yeah, yeah Chaz, Chaz was a super bomb find. That's still useful. Temple finding some good stuff here in Mole Cave. He eventually brute forced his way in, and it's I feel like it was definitely the play. Yep, the coins are being sold for what I am presuming to be Earth Pendants here. Unfortunately, Baddest Beam only sells for a dollar because in the vanilla game, it's basically worth it. can't be you, sold. You gotta repair it, uh, and you can't sell repaired items normally. So, sells for a dollar here. Chaz was kind to make it sell for one dollar. <laughs> Temple's still trying to make some progress. There's a couple doors if you can get down. There's also one chest, uh, but there's some unfortunate enemies kind of blocking his path. He's kind of pincered at the moment. Another earth pendant. I mean, at this point, the more pendants, the better. <laughs> I just noticed on Ori's screen, he's in Tucson, the Runaway 5, like the main two people, are both just ghosts of Jeff. <laughs> Like both of them are, are ghosts of Jeff. Games be game is throwing the sass at Ori tonight. <laughs> and the uh, temple too, but it's mostly been Ori that's gone back to Tucson. Whoa, a Thunder Gamma on Temple side. This could be big trouble as that strikes oh, three. Oh my man. goodness, a psychic power shield on top of it? Oh, uh, I mean oh. he's gonna try and run, but oh my god, it worked. That's crazy. So that guy got a randomized psychic power shield, but looks like his speed was it rolled low. So thank thank goodness for that, because that enemy sucks. <laughs> that enemy sucks so much. Yeah, conducting menace, conducting spirit is a mean foe in the vanilla game. And that just made a mean foe even worse. Yeah, so that temple can contemplated uh, killing that star man does not have enough psychic points on uh, both his casters here so he's he's got to just try and get a green sword here and then just run away these this one of those star men was, was thinking about leaving didn't really want to fight i think that was the regular star man the star man super was the one that wanted to go and temple working his way towards two doors over here yeah working their way back to ness's house Nice green from Ori there. Ori's going to be attempting dog again, it looks like. Oh, there is a vent. There is an explosive vendor where Temple is right now. And the vanilla game, but the question is, what's being sold? Well, we got some, some stuff that he could potentially sell, it looks like. Flame pendant. At this point, with the two earth pendants and a sea pendant, definitely not needed. And it's looking like it's it. 
BBR looking like the only thing worth anything. Um, Not the worst thing in the world, but honestly, I if I were Temple, I would have preferred seeing something a little more guaranteed, like super bombs, because big bottle rockets are not guaranteed. Big bottle rockets not guaranteed. An MBR would have also he would have had enough for one MBR, which would have been extremely useful as well. Um, but big bottle rockets, you could definitely buy them. I do. I think they're still very valuable, even uh, finding them. But you at this like it's not guaranteed enough, especially with the the boss situation we got going on. Like uh, it's it would not be super great. Um, Temple, I think did he only have enough money to revive one, or he doesn't want to revive both? Because he found the hospital. He found the Scarab Hospital, which is not a great hospital find. Saving again. Or here on his second, a uh, third dog attempt. We see Ness and Jeff both dead. Paula got saved that. So she's alive. No, no longer is alive. That thunder might have been a misclick. Here comes a prey. And the prey, unfortunately, just made everyone cry instead of uh, doing anything. Temple finding Happy Happy Village, what we got for free. Let's see. Now we got, well, Secret Herbs are Secret at least herb. something to revive your party. The Lux Fry and Pan, she can use it. The Fry Pan for Paula. Not the best, but not, not the, the worst. worst I've seen Definitely from the free shop. Secret herb definitely very useful, especially not not super useful like in a in like really really tight uh, fight situations. And definitely you kind of want to full heal like a horn of life or something like that. But you stock up on secret herbs, you you die randomly here because you skipped ahead. He's got low experience on some of these characters. You just spam these secret herbs to get everyone back so you can get them the experience they need. That's definitely very useful. It's also useful if you wind up getting having a party member gripped by paralysis or diamond eyes as well, because the latter treats it like a dead party member. Yeah. What's interesting here is Temple is opting, or was opting not to really use any of the secret herbs there on Jeff. Um, I feel like part of that, that, that could be a strat where you want to get more experience on characters you care more about. Jeff right now in this seed doesn't have prey. So not super necessary, and you've skipped ahead so far that landing BBRs and stuff like that, not very reliable. Meanwhile, Ori on dog attempts number four. We're still trying to get past Carbon Dog. We haven't even seen Diamond Dog. And it's it's, it's becoming a situation where it's uh it's not it's it's not looking great the auto fight didn't seem on purpose oh no it is on purpose so he's trying to get the life up to come out quicker but now he's resigned to poo dying paula gets saved there's diamond dog he <laughs> hooray <laughs> Glorious light goes off. That is PK Flash Omega, which has a very high chance of taking a, one of your party down. That's the sort of thing you want to see Pendant for, folks. You want to see Pendant? Earth Pendant can help you. Earth Pendant provides 50% resistance to flash attacks, so that could still... You basically are just flipping that coin over and over uh, in that situation. It, I definitely feel like one of the things he wants to do is he wants to get to Diamond Dog Phase and in um, confuse, uh, confuse that dare dog. And we're looking like, I, I see, uh, Airframe has updated Temple to floor nine. Yeah, if we missed some Kings was found, so I believe that to be the reasoning behind that. Oh, can that only be found on floor nine? And Chaz is confirming that it is nine. Ooh, so my Temple made the right routing call. Yeah, it, and I don't looks... think Temple really knows how, but how much of a disaster he skipped by finding the skip two nine. 
Yeah, he found the skip to nine. He didn't. He used the fresh egg earlier. Um, didn't find that monkey that had the fresh egg to even go to. You say, you know, there's a fresh egg vendor who's guaranteed. Didn't even see that. I feel like it ended up being probably the worst possible thing for Ori because that 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 skip now has like sort of forced him into four eight. He's like, I know this is four eight, and I can go back to four one in Tucson and hope I find a different skip. But at that point, how much time am I going to spend trying to? catch up so he's just really betting everything on on dog here another c pendant for temple temple is stacked in pendants Ori doing another dog attempt getting solidifies which is which is real good that's definitely what you want to see hoping for another solidify here no solidify so we got a turn where some bad stuff might happen. He made a loud piercing howl. That's that's very, very good. I see Ness with the gut save there on the dog. A star pendant for Temple. That's two sea pendants, a star pendant, and uh, two earth pendants. That's a party right wife. At this point, Aurelix is banking on trying to get past this dog fight, but at his current levels and his current stats, it is just not happening. I just can't see how it happens because this RNG is just not gonna cooperate. Yeah, he basically needs to get the solidifies a bazooka there, makes Jeff useful for Gygus. Um so that's a good find for Temple. Temple definitely looking Really comfortable coming into this guy. I guess the only thing he's missing is a Franklin badge. Uh, but Paula got the level she needed. Her stats don't look terrible. Uh, and he got a lot of pendants. He got a cloak of kings. You know, Ori really trying to brute force this dog. I've been in this position quite a lot of times. I, I am known to try and brute force dogs, or at least I feel like I am because I do it. I've done it quite a bit. Um, it's really unfortunate that the carbon dog aspect of this fight has so much HP, um, or at the very least, like closer to vanilla HP. Because there was a, there was a seed that we had a dog, but he had like no HP, so it ended up not being that too big of an issue. And here we go, Temple found Giga Gas. Yep, Temple is there. And I do feel like or that Ori can get on the route but would have to turn in the tiny ruby to do so, because I think that was also available. I don't yeah, think Temple did, has Ori did find shield it. symbol. Yeah. He has alpha. That's not that's not great. Yeah, he needs sigma. Okay, yeah. so at this point, we're looking for... I would be just... Right, we got the diamond dog. Diamond dog. So this actually is helpful. So this little glitch here... Um, halts the, the health scrolling until your action starts. Right now we're looking for a confuse on, on Diamond Dog. That's basically the only chance. Unfortunate double diamond eyes. Oh, instantly double ends diamondization the to make that ball game. That is a Chompasaur. Now, yes. a little, a well-known fact about Chompasaur, some of you may know this, some of you may not, is that Chompasaur is, has a chance of dropping a rare item, which is a 1 in 128. I had a seed that wound up dropping Gaia Bean from that fight. Well, the, the, the drop chance, I think, also gets randomized, um, because we had the slugs drop uh, fresh eggs for both runners, and the slugs have their only drop is a 1 out of 128 drop as well. It's normally a bomb. Um, but, to, but to have both runners get a fresh egg from, yeah, drop chance can be changed as well as item, yeah. So uh, That's good to know. Temple. Born of life on for ball. Temple. Well, in <laughs> this instance, one hawk can save a life. I think Temple right now is more so trying to find a phone more than anything else. 
That's a ghost uh, of Starman uh, right there. That's ghost of Starman. An enemy with a very dangerous script where it starts the fight by firing off Star Storm Alpha, and then five turns later, it fires off Star Storm Omega, and the pattern repeats yeah. on turn six. Yeah, turn six is another Star Storm Alpha. So if you somehow live that long, you're getting double Star Storm. Yeah, that fight without Psychic Shield Sigma. I would not wish on anybody because that you're basically asking for somebody to get killed. Theory fighting a Starman. Just hoping to get some more experience, maybe some more HP, maybe some more psychic points. Basically, he's just trying to find Starman that he can green swirl just so he can feel a little bit more comfortable because every time he's getting to the Diamond Dog phase, it's pretty much with like 20 HP, just one character is alive. You know, it's 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 not great. And he doesn't have the equipment to help with this battle. He has no pendants. He doesn't have like super bombs or anything. He basically he has to just try and do it with his two casters, cast and freeze over and over again. Yeah, basically this is turned into Naked Snake trying to take down a metal gear without any weapons relying solely on on-site procurement from an abandoned base. Yeah. I know that sounds pretty dark, but basically that's about as dark as I can make it sound. Well, he doesn't even have the offense items to make, like, CQC a viable option for the fight either. It's like this, his nest bash is doing one damage, you know? Like, it's it's a rough situation. He only has uh, freeze betas for both of them. He's got to hope it solidifies, like, every turn. Um, to really make it uh, a situation where he can get to Diamond Dog with some semblance of, you know, survivability in the future. Yeah, Ori Grinding Temple, you know, definitely, I feel at this point, probably trying to find a phone. <laughs> he found Gygus, or he's trying to find something he can grind easily against. He needs Shield Sigma to really comfortably trying to do that fight you could do it with shield alpha um but you would definitely you would need like a bunch of super bombs or a heavy bazooka or something like that as well as a lot of hp absolutely yeah or a lot of psychic points the problem is he doesn't have like paula is not rich Pooh is not rich in psychic points either like it's it's enough to, to get through phase one, but definitely you need the shield sigma for sure. They're really going after the enemy that explodes in vanilla. Uh, uh, the unfortunate is that you know it explodes, sure, but the the other option is that it just keeps healing the Starman over and over again. And unfortunately, the Starman and brought it back to life. Starman first so that it can't heal Omega, your, the enemy, back to life. Yeah. Kind of a rough situation he's found himself in pre-dog. A lot of diamond bands being found for Temple, not super useful. Unless he finds a shop that sells some real good stuff. There is an arms dealer here in the desert. Uh, so that could be a source of super bombs, which would be definitely a, another huge find for Temple. This time where he takes a death to overworld enemies. Yeah, he's going to make his way back to Dr. Saturn. Temple, meanwhile, getting like, bombarded by so many enemies. And Temple wants the experience here, so he's going to take this fight. It's just a solo star, man. Definitely worth fighting. Well, both of them got Magnet Omega, which is nice. That 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 also helps 
in the Gigas fight in phase one. Ori opting to try and see if he can fight uh, <laughs> Starman Deluxe now that he's got a little bit more experience. He's using the Thunders to try and kill that shield there. There's the Star yeah, Except that's going to be, well, I was going to say a probable party wipe. Oh, there's the hype floor. Yeah, but it's looking like a uh, legendary bat is the only good find there, because otherwise that was a bunch of junk. Yeah, that's ne one of Ness's best weapons offensively. Boy, it's good balance of power and dependability, yeah. unlike the KC bat. Yeah, I mean, the KC bat is, is the, the most offense he can get, I believe, but it has super high miss chance. Legendary bat is, in terms of reliable bats that do damage, it does have the highest offense. You can only get it in Cave of the Past. Uh, but it's not his ultimate weapon because that that is reserved for the gutsy bat. Yeah, the gutsy bat. In terms of raw power, it gets its raw power from jacking Ness's guts up by a hundred and twenty-seven, which is an extremely good chance for a smash attack. And that's where the gutsy bat gets its power. Yeah, and here we find uh, Temple found some super bombs. So. This, uh, that phase one of Gygus and the phase two, hopefully, you know, what with all these pendants and, you know, basically at this point, he just needs the shield Sigma. Um, and then he, like the phase one and two should be no problem. Such a huge fun for Temple. Temple, you know, right at the beginning of the race, we were talking, you know, at least I was talking about, maybe I talked it up too much, you know, just the big disparity between Ori and Temple in terms of the skips they found, Ori finding himself on an early floor eight, with that being a huge find, and it, it showing that sometimes finding the early skip to floor eight, not that great when you have to fight a stupid dog who blocks your path and, and is unyielding. Now, Ori did make one equipment change before this attempt. The Earth Pendant is now on Poo. So getting the solidifies he needs here. This is this is a great start for Ori. Just gonna let Ness uh, die. Yeah, that seemed to be a calculated decision there. Jeff living and getting the, the back damage here. Another solidifier. That's 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 great. This right now is looking like the attempt. He definitely is he is he gonna hope for a brain shock attempt here on this on this diamond dock section. I feel like that might be part of the reason he's uh there it is, the brain shock. And we got a mirror attempt by Jeff. It, it technically... Oh, he did it! <laughs> it worked! He did it! Yo, he's a dog! Who let the dogs out? No, Jeff, stop howling! Oh, he's feeling strange? Yo, go get him, champ. Go get him, champ. Oh, please. Please have Jeff diamondize him. Oh, but Jeff can't cast spells. Jeff, no. That is the he's doing all the worst thing. things. No! <laughs> That is literally the one disadvantage. No. Of ha in terms of situations, that is. That's oh, we got a revival. It doesn't. It, there's nothing that can save Pooh from being diamondized. Unfortunately, it 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 basically comes down to Jeff mirroring this dog. And, and and hoping that he bites down hard, but he keeps howling and trying to cast sheets. No, Dory, don't run. He did it! The diamond he, he did it! He did it! He we pulled it off! We did it! Oh my goodness! That <laughs> oh, seemed to be an extreme improbability, but Jeff, after mirroring Diamond Dog, successfully diamondizes the boss who will spend eternity standing there looking like a stone. Ori's broken through to floor nine, and someone's running to the bathroom. Yeah, you always got to check who's running to the bathroom. I, I, I appreciate everyone still checking. That is that is such a sick thing to happen. Honestly, Temple's still looking for Shield Sigma at this point. Um, he's still grinding for that. 
it's still heavily in Temple's favor. Obviously, a Temple knows where Gigas is. Temple has the pendants. But they're both on floor nine, and that was such a sick thing to happen. Like, oh, man. If Ori could pull this back, that, this would be one of the biggest comebacks ever from, from <laughs> at the Fed Jage's position. Oh, my goodness. Would it ever... Yeah, so someone in the chat was asking what happened. So, um, Jeff mirrored Diamond Dog, which Mirror does the has the ability that you become your enemy and start doing their moves randomly. You lose control of that party member, but they start doing um, their their attacks and stuff. And so, Diamond Dog has a has a bite down hard move where it has a chance to diamondize you. It's based on your luck stat and whether or not it diamondizes you. And since Jeff succeeded on the mirror. And was and and was Diamond Dog. He basically was hoping that it would do that, and that the Diamond Eyes would go off, and it did, which is insane. Yeah, because I don't even think you see that in vanilla. You can't. In vanilla, you can't. You can't mirror Diamond Dog in vanilla. Yeah, so th that's a random only thing, folks. Wow, and they are both on the same floor in the same spot. And Temple's about to find. Yeah, he's where about, to he's about to see. Oh, I found the beginning of four nine. Yeah, my goodness, we've got all of a sudden, out of nowhere, we got a race, folks. Yeah, and and Ori finding some super bombs himself. He was already uh, flush with cash, so buying a lot of super bombs. Now he just needs to find some of those pendants and find Gigas. Temple, I still, I still think is I'm not sure 100 what he's looking for now. He seems to be looking for something as opposed to just grinding. So I, I don't know if he's worried that Shield Sigma is so far off that he like can't reliably get it. I'm not 100 sure because he knows where Gigas is. He found Gigas. Uh, so I'm curious like what he's he's really doing here. It's, it just does give Ori a chance to come back. Oh, this is going to be a backward one-way skip here. Yeah, Temple has the exit mouse. Like, I guess I figured. I wasn't sure if Temple used the exit mouse prior. Um, so he he could go to Gaius basically at any time. I still think maybe he's looking for a phone because he's hoping to find like a couple different chances to be able to do Gaius because he doesn't want to die and then go back to some place that he's not sure where heal is. Maybe I'm not 100 percent sure. Now it kind of looks like he's grinding, so maybe he's just going to look for shield signal and go for it. Or he found the back end of the Master Belch fight. And that's not a fight you want to be- Oh wait, that's a criminal caterpillar! That could potentially be good experience if Ori takes. Or he might not be too worried about experience right now. Um, definitely just probably trying to catch up. He's auto-fighting these guys, so he's going to get the experience that he can. Although, I feel like since the criminal catapult was right there, probably would have been a better fight to take. I think Temple finally remembering that he has a legendary bat on Ness. Or he's going to be really disappointed with this hype room. The legendary, the legendary, legendary bat, bat is still bat. Nice. That's a huge upgrade over the T-Rex bat. I am... Still Shield Sigma on Temple side, it looks like. Yeah. Uh -oh. I'm not sure how that's red, but okay. <laughs> yeah, game, I think you are full of it on that one. Or, as I say in Danganronpa, no, that's wrong. And Temple with the access to the full heal here. Actually, this full heal is extremely nice. This actually acts as a phone. So Temple definitely doesn't need a phone anymore. Basically, what happens is that when you die, you end up right in front of that pyramid, which means you have access to a full heal every single time. So I hadn't even really thought about that. I mean, Temple definitely did, because that's why he's grinding right now. That does leave me to ask, have we even seen Psychic Shield Sigma from either runner? I, I don't know. I think 
Um, there it is, 31. Yeah, I think I was going to say, I think Ori might have it just because his Paul is a higher level. He's been grinding against Starman for a little bit longer than Temple has. We'll see if Temple remembers to save or if he's just going to go for it. Does, does he remember he has the egg tonight? Oh, no, he's got he's on a phone right here. He doesn't actually remember it. <laughs> it's actually better to just have the the full heal, but he's going to he's going to walk to the full heal either way. So it's it's not going to be a huge deal. It's it's one door away. Uh, but this, this is definitely Temple preparing for Gygas. For sure. Uh, Paula with a lot of HP. Uh, Ness and Jeff not looking so hot on the HP side. Pooh absolutely stacked with HP. And here's here's the Exynos. I see. He's he's moving stuff around, I think. Uh, I thought he was going to save again. Just to... <laughs> To make sure he doesn't have to do that every single time if he does die to Gygus. But here we go. Temple on his way to Gygus. We'll see how it goes. And uh, Ori's about to get the surprise of... Yeah, he's about to get... Whoops. And there's the Thunder Gamma, which is like the worst. That's just, that's just unfortunate. This guy is so buff right now. This guy is jacked up on the juice like baseball players in the 2000s. He ran away. We f he found out that that guy has low speed. All right. Pokey talk about some communism stuff. We'll see what Gygus is. Gygus is a ghost. There's a paralysis, and we have a really, really standard start here. Trying to keep Jeff alive, um, not a terrible idea. Yeah, but that's a beta. It's gonna do a lot of damage. Yeah, Ness, Ness dying is, is you know, I think what, uh, except that the numb, the paralysis worked. So that's best case scenario. This phase one, um, you know, you can basically try and uh, put it, put it behind you at this point with this many super bombs. Yeah, the Magnet Omega just to make sure that, just in case that, you know, Pokey got a lot of, a little bit more HP, just make sure we can get through this section. So we use the Magnet Omega just to make sure you can keep casting shields similar. The Super Bomb Barrage is gonna begin here. Probably another reason he, he wanted to heal Jeff is because Jeff is the other one. Um, he has three pendants that protect him from, from Gagas. Uh, entirely star pendant and two C pendants. Nest might have the earth pendant, which means he's the most susceptible to Gygus in phase two and beyond. But that was a clean phase one. And phase two should be just as clean. Uh, thunders are the only real thing to worry about. Probably want to get another heal off on Paula. She is the only one with prey. Um, but he does have a lot of secret herbs. Uh, I think both of them are on Ness, unfortunately. But, uh... Oh... And no healing, no healing gamma. There's that's that. thunder, I, and that's gonna take Jeff down. Jeff only had a bazooka remaining, so not the worst thing. We're gonna get a heal for sure on Paul. Yep, doesn't have a lot of psychic points, so he can't. Uh, he can't really afford to do betas. He he wants um, ten psychic points remaining for phase three, because he wants to bring shock in there. But those C pendants and star pendants uh, put in a lot of work right now. No solidifies either. No, no annoyingness. He solidified himself, actually. And that's a clean phase, too. So we only have lightnings to worry about, but he's really, really well set. He's got to get through one prayer and then going to cast Brain Shock. Or he's finding a C pendant. Stuttering that mall. He doesn't want to fight it. Yeah, it's a precautionary life up directed towards Paula. It's a good safety strat here because if Paula's HP is ticking down and a prayer goes off and she's taking a mortal hit, chances are she's going down. 
Yeah, I and mean, she also has you know 210 H max HP, so she was almost 100 HP below her max. There's a lightning. That's one one of them hitting. There's the brain shot going off. It works. So that's prayer two here from Temple. It's got to make sure that she stays alive. Um, I don't remember seeing secret herbs on on Poo, but I could be wrong. Yeah, doing doing the healing beta there. He's gonna have a beta and an alpha. Yeah, after this life up beta, it's just a life up alpha that would be available left. And we found a Gaia beam. Yeah, we got the full, we got the top three Jeff uh, Jeff weapons. So a free turn here for Temple. So many fire enemies. <laughs> Well, through the fire and the flames, Ori carries on ambush. Surprise. It's a woolly shambler. I actually hate the woolly shambler. It's the wild and woolly shambler, I might add. They're even worse. The temple getting through this very cleanly. It's looking like he might have this in the bag, but I uh, I, I would be stupid to, to think that Gygus would not have something to say about it. <laughs> Because the guy, I guess, has caused me a lot of trouble in the past. Or he's getting close, but might be running out of time. Yeah, it's it's looking, you know, this is prayer seven right here. Um, so this is going to be two prayers left for Temple. Um, once this prayer eight goes off, you can basically kind of put it in the bag, even if the thunders hit um, the ludicrous tech speed. It's going to get it. That's, a, that's an empty turn. It's looking like it's it's temples win and oh, what a race for it for it to because it was looking all over the place yeah basically came down to a routing as to what skips to take and that's ball game get your ggs in chat for temple who is moving on with an official sr tv time of one hour five minutes 58 seconds absolutely He's going to be going up against Thomas in the Losers Finals. Um, it's going to be a great match. Ori still maybe opting to play it out. I actually don't see him. He may not be paying attention to the chat in terms of the speed racing chat, so he might not know it's over. Um, or he just might want to see see it out to the end. A lot of people will just sort of file, you know, GGs, and then, and then they're out. I know I, I definitely did that. <laughs> Uh, I try not to do that. I try to play it out to the end because of, partially because this was my first time around. So I figured there's going to be experience to gain no matter what. Ori finding a C pendant but has too much stuff, can't carry it. Yeah, I mean, he has a C pendant already. I think he may have also found a star pendant. Yeah, who needs a sea pendant? Sea pendants are for nerds. But Temple, what a race. I mean, we had Ori's amazing dog kill, which is fantastic. But also just the big route diversions from the boat really made it for a really interesting race to see, you know, two players making finding two different paths, making two different decisions. It's really diverse. It makes it hard to commentate, to be quite honest, because you're, you're keeping track of two separate floors. But Temple really... Uh, push through and and what a what a choice that was because that's it's a really good win ori was the previous was last year's winner you know if you play the randomizer you look in the credits ori's name is there ori's out of the running for that so we're gonna get some new names in the credits uh from this tournament you know andy's sitting in grand finals it could be andy and he's been playing phenomenally this bracket stages, but Thomas and Temple are still sitting in Ludra's finals, and we're going to see what they have to say about that. We're down to the nitty-gritty, folks. It's going to be one heck of a race to see who faces Andy in the grand finals. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, and we see Temple here in the, the credits. Uh, we're going to see some of his stats. Um, mainly, you know, he had no chickens, so it's not a humane run, but we're going to look for the, uh, how many MPHs he had. Just to see, just some of those stats. Damage received. Pretty low. 
you know, Temple Temple didn't really uh, explore too much to, to receive a lot of damage. Oh, zero, no problem. Here's Temple with the clean run, such clean. Mm, that's a clean Two sheet zero. right there. Yeah. Yeah, no, no Neil Patrick Harris is here. Once again, many thanks to Chaz for developing the Ancient Cave and continuing support for it. Ori finding Gygus, by the way. But thank you for, you know, Chaz and everyone who contributes to Randomizer. Thank you to all the players and people who are enjoying it, because honestly, it's a blast to watch. It's a blast to play. Um, and now we get to see Ori's attempt at Gygus. He found Gygus. He's got a lot of super bombs, more super bombs than he knows what to do with. This is really just a ridiculous amount of super bombs. Um, and he threw away a C pendant because he didn't need it. So we'll see how that decision uh, plays out. He's got one C pendant for sure. That's going to go on Paula. And he's got two earth pendants. So I imagine one's going on poop. One probably going on... I mean, it, it's basically pick your poison at this point. He's got so many super bombs that everyone is a powerhouse. <laughs> he has so many useful items, except for a pro he still has a protractor. He could drop that, make it easier to move items around. But yeah, you gotta keep you gotta we gotta make sure you let Gygus know that you, you can measure angles real well. And so if Gygus tries to say, "Wait, that's not supposed to go at an angle," well, guess what? Yes, it is. And I didn't actually see if what Temple, Temple just going with the classic one letter. Definitely feeling, um, feeling like he he maybe he was behind um, against Ori. That's kind of how I play uh, always. I'm always playing like I'm behind. Um, so didn't want to waste too much time entering player name. <laughs> program that in. You don't know. See the thing is, I don't know. That's a thing you might program. I use a protractor on Gygus, and Gygus takes like 500 damage. <laughs> He's just like, I don't like these angles. So that's an alpha to start with for, uh, for Ori Paralysis. See if it goes off. It does work. So this yep. is looking like a real clean phase one. Just chuck super bombs. Uh, probably not even real need to do anything else just because everyone is throwing a super bomb. Yeah. And with this wave of super bombs, almost for sure, uh, Pokey will no longer be among the living. Or he'll no longer be participating in his battles. Nah, he's, Speaking he, of, nah, he's dead. Mother three's not real. Done already. And Temple hosting Ori, so we got the double Ori cam right now. We see his game feed twice. One's a little bit Ori smaller. Yeah, exactly. I'm putting an end to our fun. You can put on my VR goggles. I'm trying to put on those 3D glasses, the one with the red and the one with the blue. This doesn't actually work for me because I'm colorblind, but you know, whatever. And this will probably be the end of uh, phase two here. Oh, yep. this okay, I see. So Wait a minute. This this the the <laughs> you know, that line right there, that is one heck of a parody of a classic film, A Few Good Men, where the lawyer yells, I want the truth, and the witness goes off on a rant that starts with, you can't handle the truth. Classic movie. Good. You should watch it if you haven't. We're not sponsored by them, by the way. Uh, so going to phase three. 
Going to phase three, definitely going to be seeing a brain shock almost for sure, just because I let it cheat. Yeah. It's so useful. Now that I'm thinking about it, why don't we brain shock Gygus and glitch us? Honestly, if I... Now, while I don't typically run the... While I have yet well, to have a chance to run the game, I mm -hmm. think the reason being, in spite of the safety, is the additional text boxes that pop up, which does add time to the run. Right, but if you have multiple children alive, then him casting the free spell on himself actually saves time versus... Uh, it hitting well, every single one of your party members. I don't know. It's probably not a thing that's hmm. worth it, but it's. I, I don't know. There may be an RNG element to that that might be worth exploring because it's not just the free spell that would save time. The fire and the flash spells would also save time. Thunder does he, not. He doesn't save have time. a fire spell. He doesn't have a fire spell. He only has a free spell. It hits everyone. Ah. Uh, so he has a free spell. He has a flash spell. Um, he has. Thunder and he has an empty. No, I mean in phase three. I don't care about phase two. Phase two is is, is he's cheeks in phase two. He just dies. Yeah, phase <laughs> two, you just wreck him with your strongest moves, and he just no, I'm talking about the house of cards. Phase, phase three, in terms of, it's probably not worth it just because of a multitude of reasons. But. I don't know. We do. We do. There's people who do slower things. So, and Ori looking like this is gonna be a real clean guy, I guess. And you know, with all things considered, you know, this is prayer seven here. Only ten, looking like to be about ten minutes off of Temple's time. So, considering how long Ori was ramming his head against that dog, that's not that bad. A you know, like a, a discrepancy between their times, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely, because Dog ORNG was just not kind, and that was a major factor here, not just the divergence. And that's time for Aurelix. Get your GGs in chat. He finishes this race with an official SR TV time of 1 hour, 16 minutes, 20 seconds. Great race from both of them. Uh, or I gotta be probably pretty frustrated at, at running into a dog that early, but what a dog kill it ended up being. And just honestly, an extremely clean floor nine on top of that. Like, considering you know, Temple was sitting in floor nine for quite a while, or you just blitzed right through it. <laughs> Please no dog for hours. But then again, diamondizing, but the diamondizing fight from Jeff was definitely the moment of this race, no doubt about it. Because that is something. But that is just something you don't see very often. Yes. Yeah, so to see very, it happen was just incredible. I mean, I've, I've had, I've confused him and had him diamondize himself, but to, to mirror Diamond Dog and then have that character bite him and diamondize him, that's a special type of fight right there. Absolutely. Somebody go back and clip that because that was awesome. Was cool. Well, um, I imagine, uh, since I was sitting in chat, I imagine neither of them probably will talk about to see Temple probably. Temple generally very soft spoken, but also there's still Thomas and Andy to uh, look forward to. Um, so for for myself, that's going to wrap it up for me. Um, but what a race from both of those people! Um, I just want to thank both the runners specifically for putting on such a great race. Absolutely, this was a heck of a race. Congratulations and to Temple for pulling out the win. Hats off to Ori who raced this out like a champion. I raced against him earlier in this tournament. He's a, definitely he's definitely a cut above. Yeah. And his, but 
And I'm sure he's disappointed that he came up short this time. But you know what? It was a heck of a ride. Yeah, uh, GG's to both runners. Give both runners a follow. They definitely deserved it. Me, I've got another race I got to call. So I got to get out of here myself. So I will catch you guys on the other side. Take us home. Thank you very much, Leslie, for commenting with me. Thank you. And I, I do want to say very specifically thank you to Airframe, not just for restreaming this race, but also being the uh, the head TO and uh, organizer for the Ancient Cave uh uh, tournament it's been doing a fantastic job it's been killing it and has continued to kill it and uh now we're we're in the uh the top three so we're, we're kind of in the end game so uh you know basically he's going to take us home towards the end and and keep doing a great job thank you so much airframe and thank you everyone y'all have a good one stay safe